Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the different app managers you can get for Linux. So on a previous video I showed you how you can install a Linux app store which is really good because it means you've got to use the command line to install Linux apps which is, is, is a much better way of doing it. Now I'm going to show you that you can get another app store and if you follow the video in the link below which shows you how to install Linux and it also shows you how to install that app store, once you've installed that app store you can install other app stores from that app store so it makes it much easier so you'll see if you if you look at the video there's a few quite a few steps you have to do a few command line prompts stuff like that with this one once you've installed it and that video that i did the app store that it launch um, installs for you is Linux apps it's this one here discover i quite like discover it's basic but i think it's quite good but for example, another good app store is GNOME. Now, instead of having to go through what that other video shows you that I've linked in below, where you have to go through a few steps, once you've got a specific app store, you can then just look for other app stores. And one of them is GNOME. Search. And GNOME make software, so if there'll be there other software programs they've done as well. But it's this one here, the GNOME Control Center. No, it's not. It's the GNOME software, this one here. So GNOME software, click on there and it tells you what it is. Software allows you to find and install new applications and system extensions, removing existing installed applications. So it's a way of installing Linux apps, not just on your Chromebook. These are not just made for Chromebook. These are made for Linux in general, but obviously this is for Chromebooks that we're discussing here. So this here, I haven't installed it. So you could just simply, it would be an install button there rather than a launch button. But I'll show you it. If you open it up, as you can see, it's a little different. So that's the GNOME App Store, and then you've got the Discover App Store. Personally speaking, I prefer the Discover, but then everybody's different, so it's good to have a look at them both and decide which ones you like. What I like about the Discover one, the app, um, the categories here are a bit more broken down. Whereas here, the, well, I guess they are the same. Graphics and photography there. Click on there. And you get all the different Linux programs you can install. I really would recommend using Linux more on your Chromebook now if you haven't done yet. Because it is so much easier now just to install Linux. And you, it, it opens up such a big new um, part of the Chromebook. At the moment, Chromebook, don't get wrong, Chrome OS on, it, on its own is great. But the fact that you can use Android apps, I'm sure a lot of you use Android apps, they're great, but so are Linux apps, because Linux apps, the name app, don't really listen to the name app, because these are a lot of these are full-on programs, so you can get video editing programs, um, image editing programs, music editing programs, so there's a load more on here, and a lot of them are Linux, so they're very stable as well. So from here, as you can see, that's the different apps that are on that app store but on here if we went to the same one so graphics you should see they're roughly all the same if I'm being honest with you they all eight they even look roughly in the same order so different app store both do roughly the same thing but it just decides which one you do so if you do follow that video and you decided you don't really get on with this discover app store as I said just simply type in no and install and then you've got another app store personally speaking i'd keep them both and the reason why i'd say why i say that is because at the moment i'm looking at different file managers you can get on the on the for chrome but for linux and i'm not too sure which one i like yet so i've been installing quite a few to have a look and obviously i'll do a video once i've decided which one i think is possibly best obviously you'll all have your own opinion once which one's best but i'll give you my recommendation um, so on here, the reason why I say it's possibly best to have the two, now these two app stores do talk to each other, by that what I mean is on here, see there you've got installed and you've got this one here. This is the file manager that I installed. When I tried to install that file manager on this known um, app store, it said it's not compatible. But when I installed it on this one, it says it was compatible. So that's one good reason to have both app stores because if you try to download some software on the one and it says it's not compatible, just download it on the other and see if it's compatible that way. So that's a good reason to have them both. Um, and as I says, they talk to each other anyway because you can see it's installed, although I actually installed it on that one. 
so yeah, if you're if you're if you're interested in Linux, definitely I would recommend installing an app store. If you've not installed an app store currently, I would really suggest using the link in the video below that I've used because that will get you going. Once you've got one app store, there will be a lot less command line prompts, which I know not everybody wants to start using a command line, and then you can start just using a, U, a GUI based sort of application where you can got icons so you can see what you're installing makes it much easier. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.